To celebrate the launch of Don Joy's new Playmaker 2 with Force Point technology, DJO Global teamed up with Olympic soccer star Megan Rapino. The day of production was very fast and furious, and in classic Pino fashion, she brought her A-game and her infamous game face. Amongst the whirlwind of activity, we were fortunate to sit down with Megan and hear her compelling story of injury and recovery. Megan talked about her own stories of defeat, heartbreak, and eventually her road to recovery and ultimately her victory over her knee injury. I knew for me that it was time to just slow down, you know, do my research and, and seek out the best people um, to help me recover. Although Megan's story was a personal one, she wanted to share her experience to educate and get the word out about prevention and recovery to the overwhelming female audience that suffers from injury. I had a crippling pain. I fell on the ground in tears. My trainer, he told me, you know, your ACL's torn. It was heartbreaking. To help an athlete with injury, it's, uh, it's a grieving process. And it's similar to any, any loss, what the research says, with someone losing a close friend or a close family member. I went back to that moment a lot. I was wondering, you know, what could I have not, like, what could I have changed? to prevent this. I think a lot of this can be prevented uh, with the more number of parents and coaches that, that know about this, these injuries occurring all over the country. And then secondary, if it happens to somebody's daughter, then they immediately know, hey, we need to take this seriously. We need to go get her checked out and, and then ultimately know that she can recover. As a coach, we need to promote their skill as best we can put them in the proper situation so they can succeed and get over that mental edge. With professional athletes and youth athletes, the one thing that you want more than anything is longevity. And try to get the person to not look at the fastest road of recovery, but the smartest that will do the least amount of harm. I took a long time and just was really, really patient with myself and, and everybody around me, all my coaches and everybody were very patient with me, which allowed me to really be ready and confident, um, you know, physically, but also mentally and emotionally, which was, I think, the hardest part for me. By the time I came back, I was, I was solid on all fronts.